Hey guys, today we will be making a Mother Teresa charm to get ready for her canonization. Body, roll a small cone out of white clay. To make arms, roll out a small white noodle and cut off two short sections, then press them firmly to the body. Roll a small piece of skin colored clay into a ball, then firmly press that to the top of the body. two tiny balls of black clay and press them flat onto the face. Use a small dotting tool to make an indent for the mouth. To make her sash, Roll out a snake of dark blue clay. Cut part of the blue snake so that it's long enough to reach from one shoulder to the bottom underneath the other arm. Then cut another part of the snake and wrap it around the bottom of the body. Press all the way around to secure it. To add blush, dab a Q-tip in some pink chalk or pastel and lightly spread on the cheeks of your clay. If you get extra somewhere, just blow it off and reapply. To make the veil, roll out a piece of white clay. Then, trim the edges straight. another small snake of dark blue clay and add it to the top of your veil. Trim off the sides and roll out an even smaller snake of blue clay. Add that smaller snake right underneath the big blue snake, leaving a little gap of white in between. you want them, and then attach the veil to your charm. To attach the veil, carefully line up the veil with the top of the head, and then press it gently on. Work your way down the sides, pressing gently, and then down the back. It's okay if it folds over a little bit, that will just make it look a little bit more like fabric. so 
it short enough to fit in your charm. Then put the eye pin into the head of your charm. Once you're done, bake according to your clay package instructions. When your charm is cooled down, add pupils using a small dotting tool and a little bit of white paint. Here one of the eyes is a little off, so I decided to remove the paint and try again. To remove the paint, dip a Q-tip into some nail polish remover and gently rub along the paint until it comes off. Don't worry, it won't harm your clay. Use a small piece of paper towel to wipe off any excess nail polish remover and then reapply your paint. Open up a jump ring using pliers and then loop the jump ring through the eye pin. Then, loop the jump ring with the charm on it through a loop in your charm bracelet. Then, try to get the jump ring to close. I've practiced a little bit more since the last video, so I was able to get it closed easier. Just keep practicing, eventually you'll get it closed. And here is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial, and as always, let me know which saint you want me to make next. Thanks for watching! Bye!